Hi everyone, apologies for that. Um, uh, so, green with you. Um, so I'm here to talk to you about custom reporting, but actually um, a little bit more than that, because custom reporting and customers reporting needs are something that um, we should really shoot higher for. Um, so data insights, really that make your SaaS company um, be a market leader in this new economy is something that we should all be looking for as, as SaaS vendors. And it's been an amazing event. And we've seen so much and heard so much about how much we're looking at pivots and new solutions um, to remain competitive. And I'd like to talk to you about how you can make data a real core part of that uh, and how solutions can help you to do that. And it's really interesting listening to Blender, actually, because that um, ability to bring insights in and open up your platform to enable you to give your customers um, access to much more information um, to remain competitive is, is really essential to, to providing them with what they need. We all know that we're sat on lots of data, um, lots of challenges around providing that data to customers, uh, lots of solutions out there to do that. Um, it is a new normal um, as far as customers expecting that SaaS solutions can give them access to that information, uh, whether through an API, as Blend was talking about, or actually through um, other ways, through embedded or um, custom reporting components and dashboards. But often there are challenges around data, data security. SaaS vendors are, are minimizing the ability for customers to get access to all data, often for performance reasons, um, limiting the rows and numbers of uh, lines of data that we can give them access to. And we're not specialists as SaaS vendors, we're not analysts or data scientists. Um, so giving our customers advanced analytics and advanced reporting uh, can be a challenge for our development teams and our core teams. Um, we're a UK based company, uh, so I had to throw a bit of Boris in here, but it can be a real challenge to get to the truth for you and your customers. Um, for us, um, we're really um, looking at helping you to become a winner, helping you to find a way to unlock the value in that data that you hold for your customers so that they can get to the truth. We also heard David Scott talk earlier at SaaS Stock, and I thought this was really powerful, so I brought it into the presentation, that actually we're in a phase of SaaS vendors where the impact of, of the current um, crisis is moving us to a phase of recovery where we're having to reinvent and think new ideas, both for our own businesses, but our customers are in exactly that same evolution. And the speed of our response to that is critically important. And as SaaS vendors, we go on a life cycle and a journey, and whether we're developing our own solutions from an MVP to getting those initial first customers and expansion, as we've heard talk about, um, each of those stations comes with a different approach to data access and data insights for your customers, whether it's static dashboards when you're MVP to more custom reporting as your customers start to uh, ask for more information um, through to expansion where we need a more extensive self-service tooling for your customers through to full retention where actually we're needing to do decisioning and automated insights for our customers. But at this pivot point, we're finding new niches, new opportunities to use the data that you already have for other purposes. And that's where speed becomes really critical because there is an opportunity to not just manage data and help our customers to get access to that, but to be able to perform analytics and drive decisions from that that can be done rapidly and quickly through a data insight engine. So thinking beyond just custom reporting and giving our customers access to information, whether they're moving out via an API to a business intelligence tool or they're consuming it in your application through integrations with other, other technologies or the only the data that you have yourselves, we can look beyond that and we should be thinking beyond that to create really compelling propositions for our customers around data. And if you could ask your customer one question, what would that be about what it is they would really like to predict? And I'm sure most of your customers would give you an answer. If you could do that for me, that would be gold. And we should be in a position to do that. But it's difficult because the solutions in the marketplace are fragmented. And most solutions that are designed for um, data insight, whether it's descriptive tools like reporting, SSRS, uh, business objects, crystal, diagnostic, business intelligence tools like Looker, SciSense, Tableau, predictive tools like SPSS, Alteryx, um, are all those kind of more prescriptive AI type technologies, 
They are enterprise level, they're expensive, they don't fit with your usage models, and they're certainly not designed to be integrated and embedded within platforms. So we want to give our customers the ability to have access to valuable insights. They need it now. Um, they're looking to be able to use that information to be able to change. But it's not as easy as it should be. So for us, we're, we're concerned with making sure that this is SaaS first, and Pan Intelligence is an absolutely SaaS first solution. So we don't move your data. It's embedded in your platform. It's truly self-service. It tracks the past, present, and future trends for your customers. It's in-app, which helps you to retain your customers on your platform. And it frees, um, it, 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 it aligns with all of your fees, all of your revenues on a unit and usage-based model, unlike a lot of the other toolings and technologies out there that are not integrated. And most importantly, it's a single solution that you can deploy rapidly, really quickly to provide that data and data insight engines to give your customers what they need now. So three in one, tracking past, present and future trends, dashboarding, reporting, analytics, all in one platform designed to be embedded, easy to use, fast to deploy, seamlessly integrated, designed for um, cloud, uh, multi-tenanted, distributed solutions that you as a SaaS vendor can deploy um, and align with your own commercial models. And obviously it's a bit of a pitch and I'm gonna put my hands up and say, um, sorry, um, but I think this is what we want. And as SaaS vendors, um, having worked for many software businesses before starting Pan Intelligence, um, it was always the problem. Our customers wanted access to better information more easily. So a three-in-one embedded tool, a single app for everything, end-to-end, -end, for the whole data lifecycle. No code, built for rapid cloud deployment, SaaS deployments is what we do. We're 100% focused on that. Elastic commercials that align with your revenues, your unit metrics, support from our time, a team to design and build and to ensure the authentication, the styling is uniquely um, you, but all done within a customizable um, solution that is entirely um, uh, enabled by a user interface that any of your technical team can use. So no coding, entirely um, uh, uh, deployable in a way that doesn't uh, put a load of uh, dependencies on your resource and your de development team to build against it. I want to give you this last case study. So every angle, they are a footfall monitoring technology using Cisco um, devices already in retailers. They pivoted in three weeks with Pan Intelligence to put into place a, a social distance monitoring platform in store using the same technology for footfall monitoring to enable companies to open back up for retailers. The whole US postal services are adopting this technology. And it's really cool because this week um, we were on Spanish TV showing how we're helping the Spanish economy to adapt uh, this technology to allow for social distancing. And this is pan intelligence being used by every angle. You can do it quickly. It can be something that you can pivot and deploy rapidly into your platform. It's not expensive. It should be simple and it is simple with us. Um, so I'm gonna stop talking and take any questions.